this is a first variation and it's uh, one of the easiest to um, kind of get introduced to this book of variations. It's a really wonderful book. It um, transformed the way I played uh, when I was learning it when I was younger. And now, of course, I'm teaching this to my students and I'll be glad to share some of my knowledge and expertise with you. Um, be sure to follow instructions. Shevchik is very particular and very specific with his instructions. He wants us to use a certain amount of bow in the right part of the bow and really just follow his methodology, follow his philosophy as, you, as you're going through this. You need to be able to play in first and third positions um, as, you, as you're starting this book, generally speaking. Uh, if you can do a second and fourth position, super, great. That will really help you uh, further along in the book. So um, if that's a bit of a problem for you, maybe you're not quite ready to start this book and you might want to discuss with your teacher um, how can you get prepared and ready to tackle this uh, wonderful um, material. The <clears throat> variations are split into three sections. You have section A, section B, and then section C. Now section A is eight measures, section B is also eight measures, and section C is also eight measures. So they're split into even number of measures, and uh, this is how I recommend practicing this. Work on eight measures first, and then when you start getting really good at that, then you can switch to the next eight measures and start with that. So work in sections. It's really pointless to try and play the whole thing. It's not gonna, well, you can learn that way, but it's, it's gonna take you longer for sure. Um, yeah, so try to do that is uh, probably the really best thing you can do for yourself. Um, really try to focus on playing here by the frog. Really, this is what the whole lesson of the of this very variation is, is to learn how to switch from on string to off string playing. And pick up the bow in the air. So this requires a great deal of finger engagement. This whole book is really focused primarily on the right arm. So if you can fix the right arm and really have wonderful uh, technique in the right arm, you have really wonder should have really wonderful tone and really wonderful sound because right arm is your sound. So yeah, so as you're practicing this, remember the majority of the lifting, all the heavy lifting is happening in, in, in the hand and in the fingers. So the fingers are really heavily engaged, especially the pinkies. Pinky comes under a lot of stress, so uh, just be mindful of that and maybe do some exercises to help you strengthen the pinky, make sure it doesn't slide off the bow, um, do some some exercises to make sure this kind of you know scenario doesn't happen so you know it's a really good idea to kind of rethink the the bow hold the way you're holding the bow and the way you're um you're, you're working and make sure the fingers are really responsive and uh really engaged as you're as you're going through this that's going to be the key to play this uh, variation successfully and learn something from it if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, I would appreciate it if you would visit my website for more information about the lessons I teach online. Thank you for watching.